For the first time in more than 30 years, Japan is resuming commercial whaling, despite an international outcry. Japan's last commercial hunt was back in 1986, but it never really ended. Whalers have killed hundreds of whales every year since then. CNN's Ivan Watson reports. Two brothers on the hunt, searching for the world's largest living creature, whales. Captain Mitsuhiko Maeda, age 73, and his younger 71-year-old brother, Saburo, lead a whale watch for Japanese tourists. Go! Oh, it's cold, it's windy, and it's wet. But people are paying money because they want to see these whales out in the wild. They're delighted when we spot a minky whale. Here's the thing about the Maeda brothers. More than 30 years ago, they weren't whale watchers. They were whale hunters. This is Captain Maeda back in the 1960s when he worked with a team harpooning whales. That hunt came to an end in 1986 when the International Whaling Commission, of which Japan was a member, imposed a worldwide ban on commercial whaling. That decision was unacceptable, he tells me, because suddenly we lost our jobs. But in fact, some Japanese whalers continued killing hundreds of whales every year, mostly in the Antarctic, under a special permit classifying the hunt as scientific research. Animal rights groups and some Western governments condemned the practice. Last year, Japan announced its abrupt withdrawal from the International Whaling Commission, declaring it would resume commercial whaling again within its own coastal waters starting July 1st. I was uh, waiting for the day for the commercial whaling to restart again. Kiyoshi Ajima, a lawmaker and passionate supporter of the whaling industry, applauds the decision. It's a victory for you. Uh, well, I, should, I shouldn't say victory. It's a start-off, kick-off point. Do you eat whale meat? Sure, of course. They're also celebrating the new whale hunt here at Taruichi, a Tokyo restaurant that specializes in dishes like whale sashimi, whale steak, and fried whale. The owner inherited this whale meat restaurant from his father. I hope the young generation that did not eat whale meat will inherit this culture and learn to eat it again. After World War II, whale meat was a vital source of protein in Japan. But government statistics show these days very few Japanese eat any whale meat at all. There are fragile whale populations around Japan that cannot sustain commercial hunting, that cannot feed a meaningful uh, Japanese market, even if there were one, for whale meat. Japanese supporters of whaling argue that the hunt is an important part of Japanese culture. Those supporters include Captain Maeda, the whale hunter turned whale watcher. Japan should continue whaling. I will continue whale watching tours. But the whale hunters should catch the whales. I want both to coexist. One wonders how long these two completely contradictory impulses can coexist in the waters around Japan. Ivan Watson joins us now live. Ivan, you're at that departure ceremony for this first whale hunt. What are you seeing? Anna, we've got a small fleet of Japanese whaling boats, about five of them, I'll let you see right here, that are going to go out for the day. You've got lawmakers here, government officials, the mayor, who are all going to see them off. In case you've never seen a whaling boat before in Japan, the crow's nest is where the crew, the hunters, spot whales on the water. And then the harpoon guns in front, the weapons, are currently covered up by tarps. And those will be used potentially to bring in prey this evening. The Japanese government subsidizes whale hunting to the tune of around 50 million U.S. dollars a year. Some animal rights conservationists think this is a good thing because it may be a sign that the government will increasingly remove those subsidies and let Japanese whaling die a natural death the way other whaling industries for other countries around the world have over the last several decades. Anna. Uh, a very eye-opening report. Ivan Watson, thank you for sharing it.